pause the video now guys and try question number two looking at a complicated or a complex okay index rule problem okay a classic question that could appear at the start of your paper one or paper two okay for your a level pure maths exam okay whether it's ocr a ocr b mei and um, aqa or edx okay so pause it have a look try the question and then come back and press play the question number two given that two to the x times 4 to the y equals 1 over 2 root 2 express y as a fu function of x okay so here we're, we're going to write everything as powers of 2 okay or base 2 we got 2 to the x okay 4 can be written as 2 squared and i've multiplied by 2 squared to the power of y okay and then on the right hand side so we've got equals 1 over 2 root 2 can be written as 2 to the power of minus 3 halves. And, that, and that's because 2 is 2 to the power of 1, root 2 is 2 to the power of a half. So you have 2 to the power of 1 times by 2 to the power of a half. Okay, remember it is 1 over this. Okay, so it's 1 over this. Okay, so you can have 1 over 2 to the power of 3 halves. Okay, 1 over means it's going to be a negative indice, so we have 2 to the power of minus 3 halves, okay, right, step 2 now, so using the rules of indices, I can multiply this, so I'm going to have 2 to the power of x multiplied by 2 to the power of 2y is equal to 2 to the power of minus 3 halves, now, using the laws of indices for multiplication, when I have the same base and I multiply, I'm going to add the powers. So I have x, I have x plus 2y is equal to 3 halves, okay, or minus 1.5. Okay, rearrange this to make y the subject. I'm going to subtract x on both sides and then divide it by 2. Okay, we're going to have y is equal to, so y is equal to, minus three quarters minus a half x okay so we subtract x on both sides and then divide both sides by two okay by doing that okay if you have three halves just minus three quarters or three quarters obviously with the minus sign and then i obviously have subtracted the x okay here so we've got two y equals minus three halves subtract x dividing both sides of my equation or my formula okay by two we get that y is equal to minus three quarters minus a half x or y equals minus 0 0.75 minus 0 0.5 x okay either answer would suffice but that guys is my answer okay to this tricky as your maths, okay, index law question, okay, so please, please, please revise this topic, okay, especially if you're aiming for grade C, grade B, grade A, or A star, okay, these are quite nice marks to pick up at the start of a paper, and will also give you a confidence boost for when you tackle those harder, okay, trickier A2 questions, okay, thanks for watching, take care, all the best.